Should you buy or skip the Marshall Major 5s? I've been using these retro looking rugged and very compact folding headphones for the past few weeks to help you decide if they're worth $149. The Major 5 is the updated version to Marshall's debut headphone model, which first came out in 2010. Marshall is best known for their amps, and they have over 60 years of history and influence in the music industry, which they've taken a lot of that core DNA and brought over into their headphones, but with modern touch. The Major 5s are marketed as a folding pair of headphones that are instantly recognizable for their retro styling. You have all the latest tech with Bluetooth LE and wireless charging. Although its design remains largely unchanged from last year, there are a number of finer details that improve its comfort, its neutral sound profile, as well as the introduction of some smart features. But are these worth your money? The first reason the Major 5s are worth buying is its form factor and comfort. These are one of the most compact pair of headphones that you can get. They're extremely lightweight, they fold down to about the size of your hand, and they have these clips that secure the band together so that you can pack them up easily. The fives also have softer and plushier ear cups, and the headband has been tweaked this year to allow the ear cups to lay against your ears a little bit better. Altogether, you can wear these for several hours and you won't feel that fatiguing sensation that you do with a lot of other headphones. These are probably the most comfortable on ears that I've tested. But even when I'm not listening, I can take these off, lay them around my neck, and turn the ear cups just a little bit, and I hardly notice that they're there. But despite their small size, they're super rugged. The band stretches, twists, and these feel like they can take a major <laughs> beating for several years. And with its textured plastic on its cups and band, it's designed to resist scratches, and even if you do manage to scuff this up, it'll probably be hidden pretty well. If your priority is having extremely long battery life, then the fives won't disappoint. A big upgrade this year is the jump to triple digit playback time. You can get about 100 hours on a single charge, which is a 20 hour boost from its predecessor, the fours. And given how small this is, that's even more impressive. This supports fast charging via USB-C and it has wireless recharging built into its right ear cup. For added longevity, you can program when and how fast the battery will recharge, which helps prevent extra wear on the battery. A final reason that you should buy the Major 5s and something that I think is often overlooked is its controls. A lot of headphones either don't include any or they try to be too fancy and they use touch controls. With the 5s, we have a simple brass colored knob that gives you quick adjustments for changing tracks, rewinding, fast forwarding, or adjusting volume. I really like having a physical button because I always know what input I'm making, which can't always be said about those headphones with touch controls. Similarly, the Major 5s now have an M button underneath their left ear cup. You can program this in its app to quickly switch between your different EQ presets, activate your voice assistant, or quickly launch Spotify and start listening to your favorite playlist right away. It's pretty simple, but it's a great feature that lets you not have to reach out for your phone as often. There are a couple other cool things that I really like about these that make them worth considering, but there's also a few reasons that these may not be worth your money. The first reason that you may want to skip out on the fives is that by design, they're on ear headphones. So while this does help with their compact size and helps keep your ears cooler with longer listening sessions, it comes with a few disadvantages. One, you're going to hear a lot more of what's happening on the outside world. Sure, this can be great when you want to know when someone's actually trying to talk to you and when you want to be more aware of what's happening around you. These do a surprisingly good job with their passive noise isolation for sounds like the hum of an AC or quiet chatter. And actually, when going back and forth between these and the monitor 2s in a room like this, I'd say they're pretty much on par. But in louder environments, say with a screaming kid, or on a plane, or on a plane with a bunch of screaming kids, these may not be the best choice and you're probably better off with something with ANC, like the monitor 2s, especially if you rely on them to block out sound even when nothing is actually playing. I also think the Major 5s aren't necessarily the right choice for someone looking for a simple and cheap pair of headphones. I think these are priced competitively, but if you don't need all of its bells and whistles like its Bluetooth LE, its folding design, or that super long battery life, then you can definitely find a lot of other great sounding options at $100 or even less if you wanted. Finally, this styling isn't for everyone. If you're familiar with Marshall's amps, you can see where the design inspiration has come from, but at the same time, those retro touches may not resonate as much with you, especially with those squared ear cups. Personally, I'm a huge fan and I think they have their very own unique identity. Almost everything else on the market is round, shiny, and smooth. 
These definitely feel more utilitarian and honestly, that's what makes them so special. So if it were me spending my $149 and I needed to buy a new pair of headphones, I would buy the Marshall Major 5s. I travel and work remotely a lot and I prioritize size, durability, and comfort as well as battery life. As something that I can always have chucked in my book bag without it taking up much space, that doesn't need a case, without me worrying about it getting crushed, and that I know is always going to have a good charge even though it's been a week since I last had them plugged in, these fit the bill. Again, I probably wouldn't bring these on a long flight, but for pretty much everything else, this offers a lot and at its price point, in my opinion, there really isn't anything else like it. But what do you think? Which headphones do you think these come closest to competing with? Let me know in the comments. For more cool tech, you can follow us everywhere at Tom's Guide and you can follow me to see what I'm testing next. Until the next one, I'll catch you later.